Hi, my name is Jake Vossenkemper, agronomy lead with Look Grow. Hi, my name is Jordan Olive, and I'm a sales and marketing intern here at Look Grow. Side dress season is here, and do you think it's worth it? Wow, Jordan, you're right to the point, aren't you? Yeah. Um, generally speaking, yes, I like a side, a planned side dress application, so yes, I do think it's worth it, okay? But there's a lot of questions that I would ask a farmer to really do an effective job at really, really honing in on that question. But generally, yes, I like a planned side dress application. And if a farmer doesn't have the equipment to do that, are there things to work around that? Absolutely, Jordan. I mean, we have equipment. We Many of our locations do custom side dress applications. Some of our locations also have bars that farmers can rent. So yes, we can absolutely help out with that. And as the spring that we've had, do you think it's still worth to side dress? This is the, the thing that I wanted to discuss today. So the reason I like a planned side dress application is it allows you to adjust for changes in economics and it allows you to adjust for the weather that we're having. Okay, and both of those things can dictate whether or not, you know, side dressing is worth it and or how much more nitrogen you should, you should apply. I want to give you a quick example. So back in February, we did a lead session, about a 45 minute talk on nitrogen management with high nitrogen prices. Okay, and at that time, we had very high nitrogen prices. We had good corn prices, but we had very high nitrogen prices. So at that time, basically, I was suggesting that a farmer might want to pull back 10 to 15 pounds of nitrogen per acre, given the very high nitrogen prices. Now, come June, we've had things change quite drastically. Uh, we've had corn prices have surged dramatically, um, and nitrogen prices have kind of leveled out and plateaued. So now, if you look at the economic question, now we're back to where we were, and it's it's definitely worth changing what the what the plan was to putting on another 10 or 15, 20 pounds, getting back to the, kind of that normal situation. The other thing that you have to keep in mind here is that we've had a record cold April. Okay, and there's some, been some very recent modeling work done by the University of Illinois, which will include the link to those presentations. Um, but basically, the modeling work suggests that when you have a very cold spring, what happens is nitrogen mineralization is delayed so much so that you may need to apply additional nitrogen fertilizer up front to meet the needs of the corn crop. So, relative to 2022, with the changes in economics and the very cold spring we have. My prediction would be that it would pay to side dress. The nice thing is that we have three sites where we have full in rate response curves. And I'll be able to tell you definitively at the end of the season whether or not applying more nitrogen was or wasn't worth it. If I'm gonna gamble and take a bet, I'm gonna say 2022 will be a, will be a pretty, will be a, a year where we have a good response to nitrogen fertilizer. So therefore it may be beneficial to uh, side dress in 2022.